Oh, you gonna fall off. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Like a cardigan. <laughs> Oh, I had three likes already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who's here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is Guardian. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's being a little, was a nice way. I normally call them crackheads, but I won't. <laughs> I'll try not to call them that. <laughs> hey. Guardy, Guardy. Come here. Guardian. Someone's telling me. Uh 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 uh. There's gonna be a lot of barking. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, stop. You hit my face. There's gonna be a lot of barking because we didn't really do much today. Hey, enough. And it's kind of earlier. I gotta go out uh, one more time. But um, my husband and I did a lot of work on like fencing and we have those rolls of grass. We couldn't uh, get the grass off of the trailer. So my grandfather and my uncle came over and like we all pushed the, <laughs> the grass off the trailer. Uh, so we've been outside in the yard a lot with a couple dogs that... Um, we're not worried about getting out of the fence, but there's still a lot of work. Also, we tried to put some more work on my car and uh, I'm just like, I'm getting so frustrated because it's like more stuff that we have to buy and replace it. I'm like, and I could just buy a new car, the amount of money I'm putting into it. Come here, let's see, this is Guardian, guys. Oh my gosh. It's one of my uh, mushin dogs. He's one of my wheel dogs, actually. He and Rolo, either he and Rolo, or um, sometimes it's Rolo and Bjorn will be together, but a lot of, hey, look over here, look over here, look there, look how pretty this boy is, look how pretty. Um, all right, all right, all right, go be a nut, don't get carried away though. Hey! I think that's Bjorn. Bjorn's pitching up it. I have Bjorn up. He loves the shirt! This is actually, um, this is actually one of the, hey, Bjorn, Bjorn and, and him, they're half brothers, so sometimes they don't see eye to eye. Not like real bad, but they definitely like, I gotta watch them. Anyhow, this is one of the glow in the dark ones. I tried, Bjorn, I'm gonna have to put Bjorn up. Hold on. You need to knock it off right now. Bjorn, knock it off right now. Yeah, I'm gonna put Bjorn up. I'll be right back. Sorry. Also, we have, um, we're boarding three dogs right now. And you can hear one of them barking. Look what I made. It's, a uh, chicken. It's chicken breast. I dehydrated it. Guardian, come here. Rolo wants one. Rolo, you want to come say hi? Oh, gosh. They're always hitting my tray. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, come up here. Come here into the screen. <laughs> Guardian. Come here. Oh, he's drinking water. Okay, I'll wait for him to be finished. Anyhow. So, 
Yeah, so this shirt is one of the glow in the dark ones, and I had planned to wear it like a school kid. And I put my my clothes for tomorrow next to my dresser or on my end table, my nightstand. And uh, so I went to go to sleep, and it's dark, and I roll over, and I just see this glowing handprint <laughs> in the dark, and I was like, "Oh my god!" If it wasn't for the paw on it, I, like I would have been like freaking out. Just a random, like, handprint glowing next to my face. Um, I tried so hard to get a picture, but no, it's just too dark. It wouldn't, it wouldn't pick it up. I even, like, tried messing, like, with the settings so that way you could see it glowing in the dark. But, but I'm sure you get the picture. So, uh, so, I guess, have y'all seen about what, the videos with Enzo? The Husky. Is he a Husky or a Malamute? I didn't even look that up. Let's see. I'm cooking pizza, so I'll have to um, go get it soon. Let's see. I'm wondering what I need to press. It's really screwed up. Oh, you hadn't seen it? it don't watch it if you're really sensitive to pretty much animal abuse. I mean, it's animal. No, you're not sending me notifications. Uh, is Malamute? He has, well, his markings look a lot like a husky on his face. But yeah, he very well could be a Malamute. He's very big. He's like, um, Guardian. Guardian is is a an Alaskan husky uh, mix. He's got some Australian Shepherd in him. Oh, and Lodi. I wasn't sure if Lodi was the family's last name or if that was the city. So if you read about it, is it, yeah. Regardless, Northern breed. Is it a Hubley? Is it a, gosh, Husky? He's just, in the video, he looks like a big boy. That's why, I mean, and some Huskies are kind of big. They won't be able to see because they lost control of their dog and the dog chased the family into the house so the owners will be deemed at fault. But it's still, I don't understand. Like, I can, I, I don't, I think nothing's going to happen is what I think. Low die, low die, low die, low die. <laughs> Trying to pronounce it. Am I saying it right? Is, how do you say the E? Lodi. All, all I see when I see it is Loki. So... <laughs> I'm trying to just to not say Loki. Lodi? I know! That's the most triggering thing to me. <laughs> As a, like a behavioralist, right? Where you read canine body language. And I know they ha I don't know if this, I don't think this person who tased him was actually part of animal control. I think it was just a comp. But the other guy with the catch pole, I believe, what, I could be wrong. I've got to watch it again and do more research, which I should have done, but I've been so busy today. I believe that um, the other guy was actually part of the animal control because he had the catch pole. Rolo, you're hitting my tray. Either get up here or go lay down somewhere. You just, oh, he just wants more of my, okay, one more piece, okay? Just one more piece. I, I made, um, this is chicken breast. I made dehydrated uh, chicken breast for dog treats. I'm so proud of myself. I'm having so much fun doing this. Yeah, so, um, so, but, but from a cop friends that I know, oh yeah, it's totally cold blooded. He, it, it seemed, I'm, I don't know. I don't want to put like, I don't want to like say I know what he was thinking, but I feel like he just does that stuff. You know what I mean? Like it was just too easy for him. It, 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 regardless. From the from my cop friends I know, they get some basic training in how to you know tell if a dog is aggressive or not. Um, he walked right up to the dog, right up to it, and it was even. I got puppies fighting. Uh, um, they're like they're four weeks old now, um, or they're almost five weeks old actually. Um, but he was able to walk right up to the dog, get the angle he wanted like he even like he went to do it and then he stopped and he got even an even closer angle and the dog is just standing there panting right like 
the dog let him walk right up to him. Did not even really look at him, really. Um, like, he acknowledged his presence, and that was pretty much it. And let me pull the video up so I can make sure I'm quoting this right. Um, oh, you got hair, my buddy. And yeah, and then he just tased him. Um, if he could get that close to tase the dog, why not just use the catch pole? The other guy was coming, like, came right afterwards with the catch pole. They could have walked right up to it. They could use the catch pole, got the dog, took it to the facility, evaluated it. Come here, Guardy. This is my, this is who I think of when I saw that video was this guy. They don't look uh, too similar, but the dog was chilling like a family member. Uh, a lot. Okay, now you want the treats. Okay, look, buddy, I got some treats for you. I know you love these, too. All right, come over here so everybody can see you. Up. Oh, okay, I don't normally let them do this, so he might be confused. He sit, he's trying to sit like a good boy. Let me see. Okay. Guardian. Sit. That's a good boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, now he comes up. <laughs> Here's Guardian. There we go. So Guardian doesn't have the same markings, but, you know, it just made me think of Guardian because Guardian is a big boy. Big fluffers. Right? And big sweetheart. But, um, yeah, it just made me think of Guardian. Oh, man, I was bawling my eyes out, though, when I saw it. I had barely been on social media, and I go on, and the first thing I see is, is well, I think I went on Instagram. The first thing I see is um, Annika and Augusto both posted it. So it's like, and I think they had, they had oh, are you, are you chunky? Okay, one more, one more, okay? That's it. <laughs> Okay, I have to give Rolo one. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, my dogs are spoiled. <laughs> it's healthy, okay? It's chicken. You can't have too much. You might get diarrhea. I have to give them some bones to chew on. Yeah, and an Annika's account on um, Animal Watch. If y'all don't know who Annika is on Animal Watch. Um... <clears throat> A lot of stems from people with big egos, like man energy. These make for the worst law enforcement officers, yeah. <coughs> That's why I think a lot of cops are people who, you know, they, they're not, they're not who needs to be our cops. Hey, Amanda. Oh, we're talking about Enzo. The death, the murder of Enzo. Stop, Rolo. You guys have had enough. I'm going to have to put these up. I'm just going to use it so y'all can see this cuties. These are cuties. Um, he's one of my wheel dogs. Oh, my God. You're getting a little too excited here, though. I know. Now, they have pent-up energy because we didn't do much today. Hey, you're going to knock my tray over. Why are you? He keeps, hey, can I have some more, please? Oh, Guardian. Hey, Sean, I thought you were playing D&D. &D. Are you multitasking? Sean is my husband, guys. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. No, don't do that. He's he's doing the, like, digging to get comfy. Aren't you cute? Yes, are you the cuties? <laughs> That's the spot right there, right? <laughs> oh. Look at this, look at this boy. He says, I'm a big boy. I need a lot. I need a lot. I'm a big boy. <laughs> Alrighty. I know. Look at this, sweetheart. No. No. You, you had enough. I'm going to put these up in a second. I need to check on the pizza. <laughs> that was Rolo. Rolo said, uh-uh. Get out of my face. A duo q and I, I feel like. Uh, I feel like that'd be very interesting. We you appreciate animal control more where I live as ghosts got out over Christmas. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And that's what it kind of made me scared when, you, when I heard about that. Because cause, um, my daughter's, uh, my oldest daughter's service dog was shot by cops. Because they said she was aggressive. Because she was a pit bull. And she wasn't even a pit bull. She was a boxer husky. 
so. And they didn't even call her. They buried her on the side of the road, which I'm, you know, I guess it's kind of nice they didn't just leave her body. But they buried her and they never even called her on her, her or her vet, which was on her tags. And the only way we found out was that a neighbor, um, Guardian probably, can I, Guardian did not say, can I have some more, please? He says, can I have all of them, please? I'm, I'm the cutest boy. <laughs> I have them in my lap. I gotta put these up, guys. Um, Rolo, enough. So I didn't see that. So that's what, um, I think I was talking to Chad about that earlier. Or he was telling me about that. It's multitasking. Let me see. Let me see. Stop. I, I didn't know, like, being tased could actually, like, kill you. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You're being essentially electrocuted, right? Is that how tasers work? It messes with the heart rhythm. So I, I have a heart condition. Um, I have a low heart rate. So <sighs> that makes me nervous. I don't, I don't think I'll ever be tased, but heck, it seems like they can just tase anything now. And as much as they want, it's not even to just like subdue them. It's just, I don't know, just to let out their frustration. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> My pizza's ready. Oh, it's going to burn. Yeah, okay, yeah. I did read that or see it in a video that the dog uh, broke out of the screen door. Um, and that the dog had been loose before. And I also saw or heard, I, I, I got to check my, my sources, but that the dog had killed a cat before or... <clears throat> Oh, you watched the video? Oh, man. All right, let me let me get my pizza real quick before it burns. Okay, sorry. I thought I turned the timer off, and I guess I didn't. <clears throat> it's considered less lethal, but it can still be lethal. See, I didn't know that. That's scary. I mean, I, I guess I knew, like, people who have heart conditions and stuff could be tased to death. Or other kind of, like, medical conditions. But, or, like, what happens if you have, like, a metal plate in your head or somewhere? What happens when you're tased like that? Try catching up on the chat. <laughs> you have you have uh, family members in law enforcement and friends, and they say it's easy to recognize the douchebags, but the bad cops still find a way in. Yeah, and they probably. You know, it's kind of like almost any job. Like, you still need people to do the work. And so, you have the crappy ones until you can replace them. But then, it's just, it's like it's always, you know. There's bad people in, in everything. In, in every line of work. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, right? Doesn't it piss you off? I mean, regardless of the dog got loose, right? The dog may have chased or killed a cat in the past. <clears throat> and then the family says that the dog was chasing them and trying to bite their children. I'm skeptical of that, especially with the way the, the that complete stranger was able just to walk up to him like that. And he didn't even really react. Um, I know in a couple of different cities I've lived in, cops will not come out for a dog unless it's aggressive. So if these people are just irritated, let's say the dog is, um, hey, Tim. <clears throat> I said the dog was just always getting out, right? The husky or a Malamute is, you know, northern breed, and they're they're known to do that. Um, so they'll say, like, the family's just really irritated. Dang it, that dog's in the yard again. Um, <coughs> so they call the cops, and they have already called the cops before, and the cops won't come out. Well, they say, well, the, the dog's aggressive, and it's trying to bite us, just to try to get the cops to come out to get the dog and put it in... Um, the shelter until the family comes to get it right like maybe they're just trying to and i don't know this is just my guess this is what i i can see it happening um so but they i'm sure the family didn't expect what happened to happen they just thought okay now the cops are finally going to come out and do something you know and so yeah then that didn't happen and so if, yeah the cops may have thought okay Here's an aggressive dog. There it is. Now's my chance to get him. But at what point do you like come up and be like, okay, I can walk right up to the dog. The dog's barely reacting. He's just panting. His, you know, he's calm energy. His hackles aren't up like anything. I know they've seen aggressive dogs before in their line of work. And let me just tase it. And not only so, so, okay, let's say, all right, I'm going to tase it. And then the guy with the catch pole comes, right? He stops barely a second for the guy to get the pole on. The pole doesn't even get on. In fact, the dog um, is probably trying to cry or something. <clears throat> Opens his mouth and whenever he goes, I got to watch the video, make sure I'm saying this accurately. But whenever he goes to put the pole over him, the guy starts tasing again. So the dog's mouth clamps down, right? And so it's holding on to the, the, the loop of the catch pole. And so then they just start dragging it off and the guy keeps tasing him right so and then they just drag it drag the dog i've never seen i've seen they've they've <coughs> they went and caught like the connie corsos i believe it was maybe they were um american bullies or something like that that went and mauled the teenage daughter's face or i'm getting two stories mixed up there's the one from rover where i think those are pit bulls or some sort of bully breed where the girl was supposed to go and um, uh, board, like uh, do check-ins for watching the dog and or the dogs. It was a couple dogs, and when she she had met them before, everything was fine. When she went in there to feed them and stuff, they attacked her, and she actually called the police while they were mauling her, and she like her face was ripped off essentially, and they had to like do you know take skin from other places to put on her face. Um, but even those dogs, I don't think that they just tased them. I don't even think they shot them. I think they caught them all and catch pulls off. I need the fact check stuff. But I've seen pictures of and the other one where they had Connie Corsos. And <clears throat> uh, I think they were getting on to them. Or the daughter, the 17-year-old, was getting on to them. And uh, so they started attacking her. And the mom was trying to pull the dogs off and save her daughter. And the neighbor called the police. And the cops came. I don't think that they shot those dogs. Now, I know, I know, like, with drug busts and stuff like that, when they have, like, protection dogs or guard dogs, that cops often end up shooting them. But those dogs are trained to attack anybody that comes in. Um, so, you know, obviously those dogs are coming at them and are attacking them, right? Or trying to, or at least showing threatening signs. This husky or Malamute, this northern breed dog, Showed no signs in the video of any aggression. He wasn't even trying to run away. He, he, he was very calm. You know, maybe tired from running around. So it just, the whole thing seems outrageous. Like, and, and even so, like, I can kind of see, okay, he teased the dog. And then they do the catch pole. And then they stop tasing. And then they take the dog. And they put the dog up. But even then, like, after you tase the dog, I'm, I feel like that's when fight or flight would kick in. But then you have the catch pole. So you have the distance. 
Oh, gosh. I just, like, uh, bawled my eyes out earlier. I was just, like, I was so... And it's like, man, I had some really dark thoughts about those people. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. We keep telling my sister the way her dogs are now, they will most likely be shot or put down. <clears throat> One of these times they escape because they are aggressive with no leadership. Yeah, that's not good. <coughs> <clears throat> Ghost was accused of chasing a cat, but he is super loving and animal control said he jumped right he right he jumped right in the truck. Super thanks thankful because some people find wolf dogs look scary. I know most most wolf dogs that if they end up at the pound they're automatically put down. Um or they're not rehomed for sure. Even if it looks like cuz they don't DNA test. If it looks like a wolf dog, often they just uh, euthanize it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, ghost definitely. He probably wouldn't have even gotten as close. Maybe it would have been a good thing. Maybe he wouldn't have got a good shot. And it's, just, it's just disgusting. I hear that he's changed his profile picture to something with a dog and uh, changed his name on his Facebook. Yeah, the dog was just standing there. He was panting too. He he was let me okay, let me find the image. Oh god, ball my eyes out again. Um Okay, this is not a good place. <clears throat> oh, my computer's lagging. I have too much stuff open on it right now. Let's see here. I saw one, <clears throat> I need to drink some of this drink. I'm trying to click one where that doesn't automatically play the video. Uh, let me see, is my computer muted? Yes, it is, okay. I don't want y'all to be screaming in y'all's ears. Let's see. And just, you know, it also makes you wonder like how much stuff do, has this cop and some other bad cops done <coughs> that nobody knows about? I gotta drink some of this. <coughs> ah! Oh, it tastes like Guardian. I forgot. I was like love, loving all over him. No, I know Darling is barking at something. It's probably a possum. Okay. <clears throat> oh, now my fingers are going to be sticky. <clears throat> yeah, most dogs want to listen to you. That's the thing, like... <clears throat> oh, I'm like play pausing it because I don't want to. I've seen it, but I don't want to see it. Gosh. And I heard that like um, one of the neighbor's daughters was outside trying to see like hey, what's going on. This is disgusting. It's disgusting. This makes me sick. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like the dog's panting. It's not a very good quality. Like, and it's not very clear, but it looks like the dog's panting. A dog that wants to bite you is not panting. Usually their mouth is closed or their teeth are baring. Um, so. Why does he need to keep tasing the dog? I don't freaking understand. Okay, technically, when if you look at the video, it doesn't appear that they get the catch pole all the way onto the dog's neck. It looks like the dog latched onto it when it started being tased again. Not like it meant to grab onto the catch pole. 
And then this third cop shows up. And he does. He just walks by. But, of course, he doesn't know. He didn't know. The third, I'm not going to be mad at the third cop. He doesn't know that dog was, like, trying to attack them. He just showed up, and he's like, oh, wow, they've got this. <laughs> you know, I've seen some really aggressive dogs. So, I mean, if they have, if he has, I can see where he doesn't. If the, dog, if the cop was scared of dogs, though, I don't think he would have even gotten that close. <clears throat> But, you know, I think he, maybe he's a cat person. <laughs> Sorry, that's one of my bad jokes. I think karma, karma's going to get him. I mean, social media is getting him right now. <clears throat> what is, oh, a gang, okay, I thought, okay. I misread that. You have some cop friends that went through a gang training program. I thought you meant like the cops had their own gang <laughs> and they were uh, doing gang stuff. Why do they become jaded? Yeah, they, they, yeah that, that's some... I'm trying to keep this PG. Oh, I wait, PG has some bad words, right? Um, <clears throat> this, the whole thing is stupid. It's just, it's just, it's just animal abuse, I think. Um, I just think it's, it just makes me sick. It just makes me sick. And, I mean, surely they have, like, taser training. Ah, my soda is still wet. You know, like, so they know how dangerous it can be. And that dog probably weighed between, like, I mean, he looks like a bigger dog. <clears throat> but he probably weighed between, like, 50, no more than, like, maybe 80, 80 pounds. So, you know, and I don't know how tasers work, but it's, like, is there, like, you know, is it, is it made kind of like a tranquilizer or you have to, like, have it to the right? amount i don't know i just feel like it was way too much they're like used to tasing an average man like 140 to 180 or 200 and then they do that much oh you're saying yeah they okay yeah they see so much stuff that it's like i mean it's kind of like i mean i'm not excusing this guy it's, as far, you're talking about as far as your the cops that are getting jaded um <clears throat> it's kind of like you know working in a hospital or in a vet's office and you see it all the time you see like death all the time or you see you know you kind of just become numb to it this guy has got something wrong with him yeah yeah. I just don't understand why they couldn't use... The guy was coming with the catch pole. Why couldn't they have used the catch pole? <clears throat> it's a freaking husky. Or whatever, you know. How many aggressive husky malmutes or whatever do you know? Super rare. Now, they do have high prey drive. When I mean, somebody said that they killed the, a neighbor's cat or killed a cat, I'm not too surprised. Um, <clears throat> you know, I have a bunch of northern breed dogs. I have. Well, I'm not going to tell you how many I have. I have a lot because you all have to guess it soon, okay? I have enough to have a, uh, to do the idea to rod. We'll just say that. <laughs> um, and, and have, like, you know, one maybe sprain their ankle and, and ride and still have enough. You know what I mean? Like. <coughs> but, uh. Yeah. I, I don't think any of mine are reactive to strangers. Like at the, um. Amazon or Chewy show up. The, the package. It's. Well, maybe Torby. Torby is only a quarter. Uh. uh Alaskan Husky. But.
but your your country only allows five dogs per household even even if you live out in the country or maybe you need a kennel license a lot of places uh, require kennel licenses, especially like if you have a certain amount of females that are intact. Um, <clears throat> you'll need a kennel license to have the, uh, those dogs, even if you're not breeding, like you'll need a, a kennel license. County. Okay, your county. Okay, I figured that's actually what you meant because I was like, I'm pretty sure you're, you're in the same country as me. <laughs> What, we live on the cuts. What's that mean? I hadn't heard that one. Is that like living in the sticks? Because that's where I live. <laughs> what is... Okay, I'm really bad with abbreviated states, okay? They've already made fun of me for this. <laughs> I-L, is that... Oh, I can't even pronounce it. Illinois? Did I say that right? Yeah, autocorrect. My auto... I have a new phone. And the autocorrect does not speak my language. <laughs> okay, yeah, Illinois. Yay! I retained something from school. <laughs> okay, so sticks and cuts are the same thing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, or the boonies is another one I hear a lot, especially out here. Live in the boonies. I think. I think that's all. I think that's all. <clears throat> My uh, animal warden, we only have one uh, animal warden for all of our county. And our county is split by a, um, by a river. And so he has to do both sides. And so if he has to go to the other side, he has to go all the way around. There's not a bridge that goes right through it. <clears throat> the boons. Yeah, the boons. That's another one. Yeah. Um. Wow, oh, what was my train of thought? So, oh, so we, yeah, we only have one. And because we're in the country and because it has a, a varying. My dad might come over, so I'm not sure. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see. Let me see what that is real quick. And I need to cut my pizza. Oh, that's not you barking. Who's barking? Oh, the freaking neighbor's gone. Look out. Look out. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're Don't worry about it. The neighbor's Oh, it might be longer now. Uh, they let their dogs run loose, and one of them is. I'm surprised my dogs aren't barking. So it makes me frustrated. But whatever. You know, all I can do is tell them. And stop. Hi, uh, Mr. Bear. <coughs> keep breaking up. 
Wait, what's breaking up? Am I breaking up? I'm gonna stuff my mouth real quick. So, stuff my mouth. I'm starving. This food is delicious. Look at this video some more. Oh, my connection's bad? But am I working now? It's better now. I think there's something wrong with our modem. Because uh, I've been having issues with my laptop disconnecting. Bane is your black lab. I know you mentioned Bane before. Is it Bane? I'm sure I say names right. I know you mentioned Bane before. So you have a black lab. Sorry. I'm so hungry and this tastes really good. I'm um, not going to eat like a lady. <laughs> there you go. My life's like our dogs barking at um at my neighbor's dog. My ducks and chickens are up. And their dog, I don't know what it is, but it's too small really to, to really do anything to them. If we could get to them. I eat pizza a lot. <laughs> Definitely my favorite food. This one is uh, sausage and pepperoni. DiGiorno. Not stuffed crust. My husband hates stuffed crust. I'm going to scoop that and get comfy. <clears throat> you have chicken tenders? Maybe I should name one of my chickens Tinder. Wait, but they might think it's the other Tinder. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love stuffed crust too. He's crazy. But because I love him, we compromise and we get stuffed crust most of the time. But they were out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, you're lying. There's no sound. Is there sound? Can y'all hear me? But I am losing a bunch of people, so something's happening. I appreciate the likes, by the way. Uh, country life, country life. This is what happens in the country here, internet. We have fiber optics. Oh, I don't know. I think it's our modem. I think our modem's going out. So I'm just called my husband. I'm being nosy. Okay. It might be about the, the neighbor's dog. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, I think as far as Enzo, nothing really is going to happen. 
maybe they'll put the cop on like, what do you call it, like temporary. How many dogs watching me eat? Actually, just Rolo right now. Just him. I used to never give them table scraps, especially when I was eating, because, you know, I'm a dog trainer, and, you know, my dogs have to be robots and perfect. And uh, then I was just like, you know what, though? Like, I don't have an issue with most of my dogs. Like, I got some younger ones. I have some younger ones that still need work. But most of my dogs, like, they're not going to take food off the, the counter. They're not going <clears> to, <throat> they're not going to, like, if I tell them to, to go, like, if he was, like, in my face right now and I told him to go, not to beg like that, he would listen. So, I kind of laxed up. The fruit treats. Oh, you still want the fruit treats I had the other night? Which ones? I have, I still have some of those yogurt. Oh, no, I dropped it. I, I wasted a sausage. God dang it. That's just, that's just. Can't waste meat. The yogurt ones, I still have some of those left. I plan to eat them a little later. I feel better eating those than some of the other stuff I eat because I know it's kind of healthy. <laughs> it's just not straight sugar and whatever else they put in there to make it candy. I'm not going to eat like a lady, so... Oh, Vivian is better, by the way. If y'all saw where she was limping really bad yesterday, I ended up carrying her back like a quarter of a mile. I was sore. She's better. I'll tell you what, she was pretty dramatic. If you hear the crying, I have puppies. They're about five weeks old. I think they're almost five weeks old. Let me check my calendar. But yeah. What happened, I, if you've seen the short where I had seven dogs jump out of the car. Oh, it's Freya. Okay. Freya is crying. Um, so we went on a hike. <clears throat> we hadn't been on a hike in a while, so I had the seven dogs. And, um, it is coyote, like, breeding season, and so the coyotes get really aggressive, really territorial, and they spread out further. So, I definitely want a big pack when I, if I do go on hikes, and I'm going to go, like, in the middle of the day when they're most likely not as active. Um, but, uh, so, I think I was just trying to record, and I was just chatting in the recording, and I think I, I tried to live stream, it was not going to happen, and, and the woods sucks. It wouldn't even like let me, and um, and all I can guess because I didn't see it happen is that Rolo in particular is this one here is really bad about not looking where he's going and just like plowing right into other dogs. He's plowing trees. He sent me flying, um, because he and that's why he's a wheel dog. That's why he's not in the front. Aside from him being like really strong and, and like big and muscular, which you can't tell because he's so floofy. Um, that's why he's one of my wheel dogs. Um, but because he doesn't look where he's going. If Rolo was in the front, we would be dead. <laughs> he would like, he would crash us into everything. Because he, he just looks around and he, yeah, he's always not paying attention. He's really good at listening. <clears throat> he doesn't look where he's going. Okay, so you said you just asked the cop about it, and it's standard operation, to, standard operating procedure to tase the dog, and they do have small amount of animal training. 
<clears throat> but is it standard procedure to tase the dog like that? Maybe the dog had a heart condition also, but I still ah, can't get behind it. I just can't get behind it, especially with the demeanor of the dog. I just can't. Yeah, they have too small training in all kinds. Of, everything is lethal. Like, in, from what I've heard of, of Europe, it's, you know, you don't pull your gun first. You don't aim for the chest. You don't aim for the head first. You know, you, you know, it's not. Ah, it's so doughy. Maybe I should take my husband some pizza. He's in there working so hard on his campaign. He's a dungeon master. I know it's a hard job. I'm going to stick all this in my mouth. And I won't be able to talk for a second. <laughs> oh, he can't even comment on Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I do get it, too, because so many people in the States have guns. So it's like, shoot first, ask questions later. I don't know. Shoot or be shot. I don't know. I wonder if saying these words is going to, like, flag stuff on YouTube. <clears throat> Are these my dogs? Some of them aren't mine. Some of them are dogs I'm boarding. Are you, are you gonna get another dog for a ghost? <clears throat> I don't see, I'm pretty sure it's Freya crying. Freya, if it's Freya crying, she's crying because she wants some of my pizza. Freya's still kind of young and spoiled. Freya's, she has the potential to be a lead dog, except that the other dog, she's not, she's very submissive. It's like she's assertive with younger dogs than her, but she's very submissive to the older dogs. They were, I thought you, I misread that, and I thought you said you were raised by two Shih Tzus. And I was like, oh, that explains a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, definitely take your time. Yeah, I guess. Like, you've been through a lot. Mm hmm Okay. That's what I was worried about because I know he's very social. <clears throat> it's my uh sixteen pound darling mini Aussie doodle. Darling is um the all the wolf dogs. Not not Kratos of course. Not really winter anymore, but all of them are very submissive to Darling. She demands them to submit like she's she's definitely getting that chihuahua big ego your wife isn't an animal person how are y'all still together you have a divided home <laughs> oh that sucks see that was a criteria when i met my husband like it was like top of the list because i wanted a pack i i my last relationship was very bad and uh, he hated dogs, and he slowly got rid of all my dogs. Ah! No, that's the part I want. Okay, sorry. I'm to buy it home, yeah? <laughs> and I was just like, I was just like, that's it. I could be 
That's not Garen. Garen might be crying. Garen bit me, y'all. Garen the wolf dog bit me. And he made me, he, he drug me to the ground. How come you not want a Shih Tzu? I board a lot of Shih Tzus and Yorkies. Actually, I kind of like Yorkies more. But I think I want one. Well, I just have to shave them a lot. I don't think I have time to groom. I already have like the doodle hair. Yeah, you found a good one. <laughs> yeah, I just like obliterated this pizza. So good though. After that bad pizza I had the other day. Oh, so are you in the egg market? Are you rich too? You have your own like secret supply of eggs. Yeah, well, I, I don't know who likes badly trained ones. I kind of want to check and see who's crying like that. All right, I'll be right back. Did y'all see him? Was he bad? Look at my plate. So much for well trained. You're a bad dog. Are you bad? Did you do this? No. No. Come on. You screwed up. Let's go. Let's go. Go. to go back and watch that i can't believe we did that i like how i was just like my dogs are so good i can leave food and they won't eat it <laughs> rollo my, one of my best trained dogs was like oh i'll show her <laughs> <laughs> wow that's what happens when you slack off on training so you could y'all see him eating the whole pizza <laughs> it was just the crust He's just like, <laughs> he was like, oh no, another dog's going to get it. Let me get it before. So bad. So bad. You look, I didn't catch him. I would have embarrassed him in front of all y'all. Well, he was fast too. He wasn't playing. I can't wait to rewatch that. Hey, Rolina. So Rolina is my daughter. Hey, Rolina, I was just telling Chad about the time that I got pulled over because apparently I was on drugs. Rolo is so hurt that he has to sit in here with me. He's, uh, he's mopping the floor. Please. He's mopping another one. Because he knows he's bad. I put him in. I put him with my husband. Sean, did you see him eat the pizza? Did you see him eat the pizza and you didn't say anything? 
That's why I didn't bring you no pizza. Yeah, so Relina is my daughter. She's a, I have two daughters. She's the middle one. Well, oh, ate, well he didn't eat He ate the crust off the plate. Bjorn was being a jerk outside, so I had to bring him in. I guess Relina's my favorite. I pretty much disowned the other one because she's just not as good as Relina. But yeah, I was just telling Chad about the time that Relina and I decided to do some door dashing to get some extra cash for something. And it was like, he's in daddy daycare now. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to call dog daddy on him. <laughs> John's gonna. I'm like a crying face. I spoil my dogs, okay? They, they smell the pizza and they know. So Relina and I were door dashing get some extra cash for who knows what and it was a weekend it was kind of late but we were getting some good orders so we we're like oh let's do this right we had Rolo with us oh my gosh how many more how many more hours these lives are really helping okay let me check it's a lot it's like I think it's almost 2,000 or more I don't know how do you do it YouTube studio I need to get better at this. But yeah, so this cop pulls us over. He pulls us over and he's like, get out of the car. And I'm like, what? Like, that's the first thing he says to me, right? Something like that. Get out of the car. And I was like, uh, do you want my driver's license? And he was like, no, get out of the car. And I'm like, am I in a bad area? Like, what's going on? So I get out. He has me stand in front of his cop car with his lights flashing. And, um, has me, like, watch his, uh, his, his, his handcuff keys as he, like, brings them back and forth. And I have to keep my head still and I watch it. I'm like, okay. And I was like, oh, hey, those are handcuff keys, huh? As I'm watching this. And he's like, yeah, be quiet. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> and, uh, so then he tells me I failed the test. And I'm like, what, what, what do you mean I failed the test? What does that mean? What's the test for? And he was like, you're on drugs. And I'm like, what? I've never had drugs. And he was like, yo, just tell me what you're on now. And I'm like, I'm like, I've never done drugs. I've never done drugs. Like, the only thing I've had is coffee. That's the only, you know, quote, unquote, drug, caffeine. And he just kept insisting he was like, just, it'll be easier for you if you just go ahead and tell me what you're on. And you need to think about your son in the car. And I was like, my son, that's my daughter. <laughs> Elena, poor Elena is just sitting in there in the car. And um, so I was like, we need to think about your daughter. You need to quit living this life. And I'm like, what life? <laughs> I'm so confused. What drugs am I on? I don't understand. And uh, so he just kept insisting. And he told me I was going to go to jail. And that my car was going to be impounded and that, that, that my daughter was going to be taken by social workers. And I'm just like, but my husband can come get my car and my daughter and my dog. And he's like, your dog? And I was like, I was like yeah, my protection dog Rolo is in the car. <laughs> and he was like, protection dog? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, he stops and he stares at me for a second. And then something comes on his radio and he talks to his radio and he's like, I got to go. And I'm like, well what and he's like you're free to go just quit doing drugs and think about your daughter i'm like what and he hops in his car and he drives off and i'm just like okay wait if i'm such a danger to my daughter why did you just leave me with her like i'm and yeah and so and then when i got home i had my husband check my eyes because i'm like what's wrong with my eyes you know and we can't figure out like what the heck my eyes were doing that made him think that I was on drugs. It was so weird. And yeah. Yeah, we think he was just messing with me to try to get me to fess to confess to something. And and there's nothing to confess to. Oh man. I'm I'm glad the night I'm kinda glad I had Rolo because the night could have been much worse. Imagine if they like took me to jail for nothing. You know? I don't like you don't get compensated, I guess, for like Oops, my bad, we arrested you and you did nothing wrong. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, I was just telling Chad that story. <laughs> oh. 
And so if Rolina left, I'd like to hear her, her side of the story. <laughs> She's just sitting in the car. I don't even know where we were because we were using the GPS because we realized we were in a bad area when there was like a man walking like a zombie down the street. And I was like, let's get the heck out of here. Not a place for two young women's. <laughs> At night, especially. I want to put my pizza on the plate, but I don't know if it has Rillo tongue all over it. <laughs> you got accused of stealing by someone at the store because I was wearing a hoodie. Oh God. Yeah, but when we told him to call the cops, he got pissed about it and they dropped it. Yep, that's why I'm glad I have Rolo. I have pizza on my face. Because Rolo also saved me in Miami from that freaking weirdo who was trying to open my door and whatever the heck his goal end goal was. Big black dog. <laughs> Pizza's already getting cold. The pimp, I'm pretty sure. The way he was dressed was not like some, I got pizza on me, I don't know how I did this. He wasn't dressed like, um, adjust this a little bit. He wasn't dressed like some drug addict, criminal kind of, I mean he's okay. I mean he was dressed a little bit like a criminal. But, oh he had rings too, I don't know if I mentioned that, he had like the fancy pirate rings. <laughs> oh, is that where you went to get a charger? Okay, okay. I'm done with this pizza. It's really good, but I'm getting full. That's, yeah, I've done lives <clears throat> and uh, not had the right charger to charge my phone, and so the live would just end. The last live I did, because it, I guess because my phone died, it stayed connected for like an hour. And I was like, how do I end this? And it. Everything online said that, oh, don't worry, YouTube will figure out that you're not coming back and they'll end the live. And I'm like, yeah, but it's been so long. And I couldn't figure out how to end it. <clears throat> Lena, did you hear what happened to that dog? Don't look it up. Did you hear what happened to the dog that was tased to death? Don't watch the video, though. It's really sad. Don't watch it. Don't look it up. I don't break it. I probably shouldn't say anything. Like, don't. You're not going to watch it, are you? That's what we're talking about. Or, ah, dog hair. Get off me. I don't know why I have dog hair on me. Yeah, don't watch it. It's it's really screwed up. Relina owns one of our Alaskan Huskies. Uh, Guardian's uh, sister, Ari. Yeah, it's, I was telling my daughter, ah, dog hair, not to watch it. Relina's my daughter. Ah, I have dog hair. Get out of my mouth. Ah. Got it. God dang. Freaking huskies. They're freaking, yeah, yeah, the dog that was tased by the cop. Did... You didn't watch it, did you? You've seen it? I mean, okay, I gotta remember, she's 14, right? I still think of her as like 10. But still, I don't know. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, you're 14. EK, yeah, yeah. Chad's, well, uh, Chad was saying that, um, when I, yeah, when I had Rolo, he would have had to uh, call animal control and wait for animal control to show up to get Rolo. I don't understand. I'm like, oh, God, I have another hair. God, it's like I licked Rolo. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what's it? What is it like owning a pack of dogs? This is what it's like pulling hairs out of your mouth all the freaking time. <laughs> Drinking a cup of coffee, and you're like, how'd that dog hair get in there? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty screwed up. So that's what we we're talking about, Enzo. We actually have one of our Alaskan Husky puppies um, that's almost five weeks old. It looks similar to Enzo. Sim not exactly, but very similar. And I think I'm going to nickname him Enzo until he, he get, goes home to his family. Unless his family that's waiting. Yeah, I think he has a family already lined up for him. Um, um, how, you know, unless they had come up with a name. Yeah, I think I'm going to call him Enzo for now. After Enzo. I actually really love the name Enzo. My mom, uh, before she had my youngest brother, she, she had a miscarriage. But she was going to name her son Enzo. And then she had a miscarriage. <clears throat> and then she ended up going with Nicholas. Um, Nicholas was born in Germany. And he, it's spelled like the German Nicholas. A horse and elk play ball together. Distracted. Oh, I forgot I was going to go on the... Excuse me, I'm going to watch a YouTube video while doing a YouTube live. Um, that sounds so cute. Are you born anywhere cool? Like, uh, like at Antarctica? So I've looked into, oh, it is cute video. Okay, stop. <laughs> it, um, the chat made me approve when she said Alabama sucks. It held that for a review because she said sucks in all caps. Lena, how dare you use that language? I raised you better than that. <laughs> there are better words to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay i've looked into seriously i've been looking into raising alabama stinks <laughs> i didn't hold that one for a review so i guess that's appropriate <laughs> oh i've looked into seriously raising uh um reindeer for meat for my dogs maybe us i wonder what reindeer tastes like is it taste like deer or does it taste like i almost said horse oh nope <laughs> i do want to know what horse tastes like um that's too much of a pet i could eat i can eat deer i can eat elk i could probably eat a reindeer yeah i could eat reindeer i think i could as long as i know like it's you know, is raised either wild or raised humanely. <clears throat> but um, from what I've heard, because I really looked into raising deer for meat, I just would have to not name them. <laughs> I probably would have, like, my breeders, and it would be, like, Bambi and Fali. <laughs> so bad. And then I would eat their children. <laughs> It's so bad. I would just feed their children to my wolves. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but don't worry. They would have a good life. I <laughs> oh, my God. How dare you use that language? <laughs> but they would have a good life. Oh, sorry. I'm making myself cry. Um, they would have a good life, you know. They would be well taken care of and healthier. Yeah, it goes. Okay, okay. True. I don't like goats. I have fed my dogs goats. We have goat farmers around here. We lost some goats during a tornado. And then another neighbor uh, shot his goat <laughs> and, uh, and gave it to us in a not nice way. Lena, you, Lena, were you here when he left that goat by our door? <laughs> Yeah, that guy's crazy. Yeah, that guy's crazy. But uh, anyhow, yeah, rabbits would be super easy. I really, I'm looking into to breeding rabbits for meat. 
And I really like the idea of doing a colony for rabbits so that instead of just them being in little cages, either <clears throat> either I would do a call, not, yeah, like a colony, or I would do the mobile rabbit runs where they're like, they're in a small cage. <clears throat> Sorry, clear my throat out. They're in a small cage, but the cage gets moved around the yard, right? Um, and so that way they have, I don't know, but you can't, can I, it would have to be big enough for them to run. Otherwise, it's not, I don't feel like it would be very nice, a nice way to live, even if they're on fresh grass and stuff. But the colony seems like a good idea. Who was saying that? Was it, I think Becky was saying that they want to do, Somebody was saying they, that about doing a, a rabbit colony. And then, they, yeah, they can ra be raised like a family. And they can have little tunnels and all that. And I can feed them, like, fresh scraps. Um, or, you know, like, grow my own. Like, I really want to grow carrots. But I haven't, we haven't, we have really rocky ground. I haven't been uh, successful yet. They have domesticated bunnies that are running around. Can you pet them? Can you like, can you like give them a carrot or some lettuce or something? They eat cabbage too, right? I think they eat cabbage. Yeah, I, I, I recently found that out. So that's something I did not learn in my nutrition class. But I have a couple people have told me that quail are really good for dogs. Are really healthy. So... I haven't done my own research. I probably should. They spawn every 17 days. Is there like a like a spawn box or whatever and they like pop out every 17 days? <laughs> wow, so food. But they're so small. They're so small. Would it be? I would totally go quail. <laughs> Okay, but how do you kill them? See, that's my other thing is I can't kill things <laughs> except for cockroaches. And it's because I'm putting them out of their misery. And they eat the whole quail? I'm sure they do. Doesn't the free wardens, they, um, they feed their dogs quail, right? I know they raise quail or they have. I guess Becky's not here right now. I would think so. Quail were good for snakes. Um, if the snake's big enough, yeah, I would think so. Stop what? Stop what? <laughs> so I was looking into, I was looking into how to like humanely dispatch of of small livestock, and um. Because I don't think I have the guts to, like, cut their heads off or slit their throats. I know I don't because I haven't been able to do it. Unless something was suffering, like, super suffering, I can probably put it out of its misery. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, so gassing. That's what I was looking into. I can't break their necks. So, <clears throat> I did a lot of research. And, um, so my concern with gassing is like, well, can you still eat the meat? Is the meat good? So apparently laughing gas, is that the right one? There's, is it nitrous, nitrous, something like that? I'm saying the wrong word, aren't I? Um, I, yeah, turkeys. Well, I feed, I feed the dogs like turkeys from Walmart all the time, especially the big ones. Uh, my livestock guardian dogs, Kratos. Winter never finishes a turkey, so she doesn't get turkeys. She gets ducks occasionally. Turkeys. You, pa Lena, you know Patience has turkeys, right? Yeah, Lena does not like our chickens. She doesn't like them at all. Do you, Lena, do you care for the ducks? Yeah, so yeah, the gas... There is a certain gas, and basically, like, if you do CO gas, 
they do suffer like they ducks are cool okay so you just don't like the chickens she really don't like the chickens yeah yeah so i mean it's like you know have her like you know seconds or, or maybe a minute of death versus you know but a whole life their whole life of like eating well having a you know good living conditions and all that sort of stuff you know and that's like the balance compared to horrible life and then horrible death um and then killing them in the most humane quick way possible but yeah i was looking into gassing and this this gas i'll have to look it up again apparently people in australia i believe it's australia maybe new zealand use it to um commit suicide because you don't feel like you can't breathe because with co apparently like uh it, it hurts their it hurts their lungs or something um and it makes it hard to breathe and you start gasping um but with this thing it kind of makes them high and um and they don't feel that gasping, you know, they can't breathe thing. And then they just slowly pass out and die. You know, you gotta keep doing it until they're dead. But it's a, you know, it's not painful. They don't feel like they're suffocating and they actually, some of them get high. <laughs> in a good, in a good way. Because people use this in, uh, in other countries to commit suicide. <laughs> this chemical oh gosh i'm gonna get this video is gonna be taken down <laughs> um flagged um i can't do it i can't what if i didn't snap hard enough see i don't got i can't do that hey pizza's ready it's kind of cold oh thanks i didn't know yeah, I, I, I got it to the right coolness for you. So it's just, it's cool enough for you. Like, like, refrigerator cold or like just sitting out for six hours cold? No, like, you know, Rufio cool. You say Rufio cool? Yeah, Rufio cool. No. No. What do you mean no? No. He's Asian too, though. Say what? He's also Asian. Yeah, I know. So you want to be that kind of... So from, you know, his hair. <laughs> What non-anime character would have hair like that? Merlina says it's cold enough for your black evil heart. It's not that cold. It's not that cold? No, no. it's not cold enough for that. Yes. It's not cold enough, he says. He's got to put it in the freezer for that. He's got to put it on a sub-freezer. Stop! Oh my god, stop telling me how to kill animals. I've seen them do it to a rabbit where there's like a hook on a wall and you put the head through and you just like pull backwards and it just, you know. Okay. Maybe I won't talk about this, but I, I uh, my niece passed away from a broken neck. Uh, she was seven, almost eight. So that's part of like the reason why I can't do that. She was in a horrible car accident. Wait, say that again? Actually, has an article on it. 4-H? Is that a... Google! Oh, you guys, I got distracted. Wait, I was going to look up... How many more watch time hours do I need? <clears throat> oh, look at all these new comments. I has. Oh my gosh, so many comments. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to look at those later. Distracted. <clears throat> How do I go to my studio? Let's see. Your. How do I go to my channel? Your channel. Oh, there it is. I. I... Yeah, she. You want rainbow hair? 
She passed away in, in April, on April 28th, I think, last year. By like five minutes from my house. Relina actually, Relina and I actually pulled up on the accident, and but it was past the hill where we couldn't see. And um, the cops were there looking like distraught. Puppies, puppies. <clears throat> and we had no idea. We didn't find out for five hours that my niece had passed away and that my sister, her husband, and um, their 18-month-old were in the hospital. And another lady had died as well. The other, one of the other drivers had died. Five hours, five hours passed before we found out. Hey, hey little puppies, don't be mean to each other. Bad little puppies. Uh, I can't find what I'm looking for. So I'm trying to find, okay, wait. Not managed videos, right? I am looking for... <clears throat> okay, these are just my videos. I don't know how to... I don't know how to work technology, guys. This is why I suck at this. <laughs> oh, I found it. Okay, okay. Let's see. Analytics... Y'all like these lives? Your grandmother went to ICU and no one told you. Ugh. Yeah, I don't understand. I'm definitely one of those people who I'm like, I'm going to tell everybody right now what's going on. Um, but I do understand like some people are more private, but at the same time, if it's family. Okay, let's see. Watch time hours. So here's the thing is, uh, these, this watch time hours includes shorts. Shorts don't count. Actually, shorts now count for watch time hours towards being monetized. Except that it's a separate, like, division. And so now you can get monetized from shorts, but you have to have 10 million, I'm not even kidding, 10 million watch time hours for shorts. From what, it, let me see, where is it? I'm pretty sure it's what it said because I was just like, oh, well, that's crazy. But I guess because people, shorts get seen so much more. And then I then yeah four thousand watch time hours for um I gotta move this because I can't see. Let's see here. Can I just see? Hmm. That's not what I'm looking for. Watch time hours by content. <clears throat> nope. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, I'm sorry. Where is it? Uh, I know I was trying to look this up the other day and I was having so much trouble. And then I finally found it in something weird. Okay, okay, wait. I think I know where to find it. Let me go back. Yeah, Leanne, my sister, didn't want anybody to know when it first happened. Um, ah, broken. I don't know anything about TikTok. Yeah, I don't really know anything about TikTok. I, know, I mean, one of the reasons I don't really know about TikTok is because... I, my old phone had like no space on it. Arlena, are you going to run my TikTok for me? Yeah, I'll tell her to run my TikTok. I'll pay you. I mean, yeah, if I... 
it's never really been about the money, but I do see where, like, if I got paid, I can just put that, all everything I earn for the dogs and, like, do some really cool stuff with it. Oh, guys, I have this idea I want to do a re while he's with me. There it is. There's my watch time hours. Okay. Uh, I laugh because it's so little. <laughs> so I need 4000 It is $10 million for shorts. To get monetized by shorts alone, because they don't add them together, you need 10 million watch time hours. It's crazy. And I have 1,300, one, okay, my bad, 136,000, oh my God, like, how do you say that? 136,000, however you say that, watch time hours on, on shorts. And then for um, for regular videos, including lives, uh, I have 779 watch hours. And I need 4,000. Yeah, that number, Lena. I always butcher it. Guys, I was homeschooled. Blame my mom and my grandmother. Also, my brain is only retains information it finds valuable. Apparently, knowing numbers is not one of them. <laughs> 136, look at my daughter schooling me. 136,000. Okay, thank you. I will try to remember that. <laughs> Don't quiz me. I will fail. <laughs> I'll, I'll overthink it and ruin it and butcher it. <laughs> Wait, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I only have seven. Well, after this, I'll have more. But I only have 779 public watch hours. If I private a video, it removes those. Oh, and I think it has to be within the last 365 days. So, if I had an old video that did really good, but it goes past 365 days, then then it then it doesn't count it. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at. What are you cringing about? Get out of here. Get off. I'm going to kick you. I'm going to shadow band you. I'm going to mute you for like 30 seconds or however, however long. Oh, okay. My bad. I take it back. That's why she's my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, I get a message. Okay. Dog boarding stuff. Ah, is there another hair? Seriously? I'm going to blame Rolo for everything because... Lena, you aren't here. Rolo ate food off my plate. Bro, what is that comment? Bro. <laughs> okay. So it it so Relina just sent me a hate message and I'm gonna have to ban her now. And it and it's it actually flagged it where it won't show it. Um I can hide it or I can show it. You wanna see how my daughter talks to me? <laughs> yeah, my bottom teeth looking crazy. Now that my top teeth look okay. <laughs> we all want to see how my daughter talks to me. Rolo ate my pizza off my plate on the stream. After I said, oh, my dogs don't eat things off the counter or off plates. We don't have to worry. And I'm a dog trainer. Guys, I'm a professional dog trainer, and I can teach your dog how to eat stuff off your plates when you turn your back. I can make, I can teach them to be very slick so that you would think to yourself, did I eat this pizza? <laughs> it was on camera. Uh, I can't wait to go back and see it and just, uh, maybe I'll make it a short. <laughs> I'm gonna have to test them. I need to get like a baby cam and that way I can like <laughs> and that way I can like 
you know, see from another room who's doing bad stuff. See, I, I only think he's the best dog. He's not the best dog. He's just the best at hiding what he does, at being slick. He's the slickest. <laughs> my dog is a puppy, so my cousin's bred out of a bag so nicely. She questioned if it was me that took it. Ari is the best dog. No, she is not. She's a good dog. No, Ari's bad. Ari got out of the fence. And then she, when Sean tried to call her back, she wouldn't come. She did the husky thing. We're like, oh, are you going to make me? Relina has trained Ari, her dog. If y'all go on my Instagram, <clears throat> on my highlights, I have each one of my dogs. Except for like maybe one or two livestock guardian dogs. Yeah, I don't have Moose on there for sure. She needs, she, she doesn't need more attention. She wants more attention. She is a diva. She demands all the attention. Husky, husky diva. She misses, yeah, she does miss you. I feel like I was actually saying something interesting. And then Relina is stealing the show. If y'all watch, if you get through my lives, you can see Relina um, when we were driving up to Minnesota to pick up Rook. Oh, wait. You're cool. We'll see. Yeah. We'll let the internet be the judge of that. Um, okay, so I have this idea for Rook. You know how... I don't know if y'all have seen these videos where, um, hey, I appreciate the likes, by the way, that helps out. It says the algorithm. Apparently, it helps out the algorithm. Even though I'm saying all these, like, really bad words that may get the video removed. My life's like guardian dog. Uh, she's the boss. She, there's a couple of videos of her with, like, raw feeding outside of our main life's like guardian dog. The other ones don't. I don't think they really care. They mostly just, like, they want to do their job and then they want to sleep. Or eat. But our main one, Legend, there's a there's a video of her raw eating with, um, Garen, Lux, I think Winter, maybe Kratos. And she's, I mean, she treats them like any other dog. But if there's a coyote... Like, she'll get them. If there's a stray dog, she'll get them. Like, they'll they'll take care of them. <clears throat> I just think it's funny. Like, I want to get a good shot of them, of the livestock guardian dog playing with the wolf dog. You know? Because it's like, you're playing with your enemy. It's like the fox and the hound. Right? But, yeah. There's so many projects I want to do. Okay, so let me say this before I forget. <clears throat> I need a drink for this. Okay, so... Have y'all seen where um, someone will have, like, a card up? We'll have, like, two cards up. Um, and, like, the camera, uh, you know, the camera angle can see what the two different cards say. And one's, like, a really good thing. And one's, like, maybe a kind of good thing. Or, like, maybe it's a bad thing. Like, um, go out to eat or cook dinner, you know. And then the person picks one card, you know. Or sometimes it's, like... Um, uh, go to the movies or clean the bathroom, you know, and so the person picks in whichever one they do. I want to do that with, with, well, I want to do it with the dog, so I want to do it with Ryuk to start. So, like, <clears throat> what are you saying? Get married or 1K? What is that? Oh, is that what one of the cards is going to be? Get married or, oh, gosh, what a dilemma. That's, that's one that you've seen? Wow. That person was trying to <laughs> seal the deal. <laughs> oh, unless they were going to propose. <laughs> so I was thinking of doing it like, let's say Ryu, for example, right? Um, like, um, get beef lung or get, um, 
broccoli. I don't know. <laughs> and I'll get a carrot, right? And then I let him, like, bite and grab whichever one he grabs. You know, he won't know what it says. But, you know, he gets the thing, and I'll record him getting the thing. And then, like, like uh, go to the dog park or go to Tractor Supply, you know? Fish or steak? I did get some fish, too, to do this. I didn't get steak. Whew, man, y'all, y'all killing me. Y'all know I'm broke, right? <laughs> I might have to get a new car. My car, we are so, trying so hard to fix it ourselves, to save money and ordering the parts. And every time we fix something, we find something else broken. Relina, do you know that the car got picked up and dropped by the tornado? Did you know that? I don't know if you knew that. Cause Relina was, were you, you weren't here. You weren't here for that. You were at your grandma's, right? But, um, how am I not even mentioned it? No, yeah. So, apparently, the tornado that came through our property picked up the front of my car and dropped it. No, it didn't rip the car. You couldn't even tell. You couldn't even tell that anything was wrong with the car. And so, when I went to drive it, the wheels were like, it's like they were just, like, loose inside. It was crazy. It was like both the wheels were broken, but the actual tires were good, and they were just, like, wobbling all over. It was crazy. It was driving crazy. And so, wait, uh, yeah, no. I know, I know what rest in peace means. Child, get out of here. Yeah, I say rip all the time, though. But, yeah. Okay. I, I might not know some things, but I know a lot. I might not know what state. <laughs> you didn't rip the car oh that's what you were saying I thought you were saying did it okay okay I got you I got you I am old my bad <sighs> but yeah so anyways yeah I broke stuff inside of the wheels and we keep buying the parts and we keep trying to fix it and we find something else broken and then we had a part that um required a like a hydraulic press that would push the old part out of it and then put the new part in and i looked all over the place somebody who would do this no mechanics would do it if they had a press they wouldn't do it because of liabilities and then finally i found a, a machine shop that would do it are you out of here all right see you later anthony <clears throat> Get a tic tac out. It must smell good. <coughs> but, um, yeah, anyways, it broke all these things. And, yeah, we're just finding more stuff broken. And so far, we've spent so much on the car. I could have just bought, like, a used, nice, like, a cheap car. Yep, yeah. Or a down payment to a new car. And I could just, like, make payments. I've been looking, I've been looking at maybe getting a new car. I wouldn't, I don't know if I want to, I'm not going to get a brand new car. It'd be like a couple years old. But I want a car that has enough space for my dogs or for like picking up dogs. Because I do a lot of boarding and training. So I can go pick up clients' dogs and, it, and have space for them. So, yeah, that's why I'm getting, like, today when my husband told me that, like, oh, there's another part that's broken. Get a van. Get a van? Who do you think I am? Jeez. I know soccer mom. Actually, my kids were in soccer. I could have got a soccer van. Get out of here. Big and reliable. That's what my husband is. I'm just kidding. Wait, that kid that came out way worse than I thought it did. <laughs> yeah, you know, I did think about like <laughs> I'm sorry, I I take it back. Oh I lost some I lost viewers. They were like, Well, this is this is too much for us. <laughs> we're out of here. <laughs> um Anyhow, gosh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I did look it up, did look into like a doggy bus. But you know, I want something I need an everyday car that's good on gas. But I 
man, if, if I could convince my husband for us to, like, live in a tiny home on wheels and, like, just have, like, kind of like a horse trailer modified for dogs and, like, have our whole pack. God, what would I do with my duck? I need my chickens. I could just keep my ducks and chickens and we'll have, like, a little layer, like, a little spot for them in the back and then, like, we'll just travel and we'll have, like, like fence, like this short fencing. You're going to get my medicine. God. Are you still sick? Um, she's at her dad's house this weekend because they're all sick. And so, yeah. Oh, another dog here. So, yeah, we figured that'd be best. Oh, more dog hair. Get I didn't get it. Anyhow, if I could convince my husband that. <clears throat> I don't think it's... He's not gonna do it. He don't want. He don't want that. I also want a ranch, so I want to do everything. It would be kind of cool though to travel. Like take, I probably couldn't do this, but to take my dogs, like my pack, to the to the Grand Canyon and do a hike with my pack of dogs in the Grand Canyon. Right? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? And like go to like these like famous trails that are dog friendly. Go hiking. With a pack of dogs. It's got to be a pack of dogs. Like, not just one or two. A pack. <clears throat> or mushing, of course. I'll eventually need one. I, I, okay, so I, my husband, I, I understand why my husband thinks this, okay? My husband thinks I can't do this. I won't be able to do it. And I totally understand why. Because I hate the freaking cold. But I really have been, like, considering trying to compete in the Iditarod. Okay. So, hear me out. I can't stand the cold. I, like, like, uh, it's, it's, I think our temperature is set to, like, 74 degrees right now in the house. And if it's, like, it's down to, like, 70, I'm cold. Um, but there's no such thing as bad weather. There's only bad clothes. So, if I could get enough layers on... Right? To where I'm like a snowman, like a woolly mammoth or something. Not a snowman. That's backwards. Like a woolly mammoth, you know. <laughs> then then I could probably do it. I want to do the Iditarod. If y'all don't know what that is, if, you have, if you've seen Balto or Togo, one of those movies, it's that race or, well, that trail, essentially, is what the Iditarod is. And uh, so... I want to, not only do I want to do the Iditarod, um, I want to, well, I kind of want to compete with my pack, with my dogs first, but I, I, I have this dream of like adopting or maybe like co-owning, like I, I adopt and find families for, um, rescue huskies or northern type breed dogs. And I, and I, and I compete with these rescues because like in the Iditarod, just like with most you know, in the Yukon Trail and all that, most um, competitive type animal, dog sports, it's always like best breed, best genetics, like best, like, oh, I want this, you know, dog from this dog because that dog won. So I want their kid and I'm going to spend like $10,000 on this dog because his grandfather won, you know, because his dad won or, you know, and it's just like, but, and that, I don't, I don't expect to win, but I think it would be pretty freaking cool to, like, get a sled team that is all rescues and compete, even if we lose. <laughs> but, you know, like, seriously compete, though. Like, seriously train for a year or whatever, however long we need to train for, and then compete and show that rescues, you know, that it's not... That I guess to get more value to rescues in that breeding isn't everything, even though I am a breeder. <laughs> temperament. Temperament is very important. Yeah. Yeah, northern breed dogs. Togo, I mean, probably people went out and got a bunch of huskies. I think what Togo was actually an Alaskan husky, wasn't he? Let's see. What is Togo? That is not what I... <laughs> Togo, officially Togolese Republic, is a country in West Africa. 
Okay, let's try that again. Togo dog. Is that the real Togo? He looks like a freaking wolf dog. Okay. I have to go to bed at 8.30, but that's it again. Uh. Well, you are sick. You could use the rest. Is he a Siberian Husky? Let's see. Let's see what it says. Look at that team, though. It's so crazy to see, like, working breed Huskies compared to show dog and pet breed Huskies. Like, how different they look. So a lot of people hate on Balto because Balto got the fame for finishing the race or the race, the trail. Um, so, um, I think it's not fair. Like, Bolto did run as much as, you know, he, he was there for the entire trail. He just wasn't the lead dog for the entire trail. All, the entire team, you know, they all did that work. The thing is with lead dogs, lead dogs do a lot of work, though, because they are the ones that, like, cut the trail. They find the, the best path. And they, and they have to listen out for commands from the musher. And they're pretty far away. It, I mean, it depends on how long his, how many dogs he was using. I would think he was using a good bit, like around at least 12. Um, so they would be in the front, you know. So they got to hear all the way in the back, especially if there's a blizzard and know where to go, you know, listen. Toko was Toko was identified or uh, Toko was deemed a at first a mere troublemaker before being identified as a natural leader and puppy prodigy by the breeder. I'm not gonna try to say his name. <laughs> okay, does it say his breed? Togo is the offspring of a former lead dog Suggin. And the female Siberian import Dolly. Okay, well, what were they? Er, early pedigree records are inconsistent in his birth year, including those kept by his breeder, Victor, and his owner. So they don't know exactly when he was born. <laughs> he was named Ku, oh, Tus, Tugo. To school, which means puppy in the northern Sami language. Oh, and then he was named after a Japanese admiral. Okay, so that's where the Togo, because Togo to me does sound Japanese. Interesting. Cool, fun facts. I'm learning so much today that I'll repeat later in the future, probably. <laughs> it seemed like I'm so intelligent. He only grew to 48 pounds, which, I mean, to be honest, like, you know, smaller lead dogs aren't, aren't you know, bad. He had a black, brown, and gray coat that made him appear perpetually dirty. <laughs> I love this description. Maybe I have not seen the movie Togo. Has, have y'all seen it? Is it any good? Showing all the signs. He showed all the signs of becoming a canine delinquent. It's really good. Does it follow him from puppyhood? Does it does it do all the stuff that Wiki is saying? Yes, Lena, you can. Um yeah, I think she can. 
Are you having panic attacks? You'll need a note from your doctor. She'll need a lot of work too. She's she needs some work. But at first this behavior was interpreted as e oh as as I said evil as evil. Uh he was spoiled. Hey, where? It never says his actual breed. Where's his breed? Oh, is it on Disney Plus? I okay. I have to ask my husband how to do Discord. <laughs> Lena, you know how to do Discord, right? Okay, wait. Okay, we're not getting to his breed. It's just saying sled dog over and over. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here. I really, I'm a horrible sled dog owner. Okay, wait, I don't see his breed. I don't see his breed. Let's, okay, let, let me just Google what breed is Togo. Oh my God, it literally is filling it in for me. It's listening to me. Siberian Husky. Where is this from? Is he slept dog? I mean, is he, um, I guess he's Siberian. Pure Siberian? He doesn't, he looks so wolfy. And he's got some big ears, but he looks pretty wolfy. His tail and everything. In this picture. Maybe it's just that picture. Yeah, it says he's, okay, so I guess you're right. He's the Siberian. Oh, you're going to bed? Sorry, I'm getting so into this reading about Togo. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, definitely Togo, because Togo was the lead dog. So was he, like, solo lead, or was it Togo and Balto? Because then Balto took over for lead. When Togo couldn't anymore. Yeah, he so he just uh, ran the the final remainder. Yeah, I I knew that. Uh, Lena, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to? Good night. She did ask to stay there. I can't do anything about that, Lena. What? What do you mean the role lead of the team was Fox? I gotta do have to do like a whole bunch of research on this.
Wow, Togo was 12 years old or around. So I know they don't know his exact birthday. Yeah, here's where it says 264 miles. And then, um, what? Those who, oops, however, those in the know regarded Togo as the serum runner's unsung hero. Over time, with the help of historians, Togo began to gander recognition he deserved. In 2001, Togo received his own statue in New York. Yeah, they, don't they have Togo, they have the, what do you call it, the taxidermy body of Togo? The stuffed, do you call it stuffed? They have Togo stuffed? No, not Okay, so yeah, he's a Siberian Husky. Here it is. So it says that this Norwegian, I have to say his name, Simpella. Simpella? I don't know. First arrived in Alaska in, in the 1900s when most sled dogs were burly Alaskan Malamutes or mixed breeds, which are usually referred to as Alaskan Huskies. Under the employer, or Chinooks, under the employer of Pioneer Mining Company, he began making a name for himself as one of the strongest mushers in Nome. Around that time, the first known Siberian Huskies in America were brought to Nome by Russia by Russian fur trader William Guksak. Guksak. <laughs> I hope I'm ruining that one. Uh, those dogs topping around 50 pounds with a prize with surprise by taking third in annual all Alaskan sweepstakes race in 1909. That summer, English musher Fox Ramsey imported 60 of the finest specimen he found in Siberia to Nome. In 1910, all Alaskan sweepstakes and all Siberian team driven by musher Ironman Johnson took first place in what remains a course record. <clears throat> Clearly, there was something to be said for the smaller yet scrappier, yeah, definitely scrappier Siberians as stellar sled dogs. Okay, okay, so while, while whopping records from the era are scant, it's generally accepted that Togo was born in 1913 to a dame named Molly. I mean, Dolly, whoops. Dolly, who is regarded as a foundation bitch in the breed's development. At the time, many of the, of the gnome's finest sled dogs were found in his kennels. Uh, and then it goes into his health problems as he was little and... Wait, maybe I did see Togo. Okay, so it says that as a puppy, he suffered from health problems, and when they gave him away, he jumped through the window and escaped back home. I do remember seeing a movie about a puppy who did that, and then they had, uh, maybe I did see Togo, and I just don't remember. Okay, yeah, I think I have seen this movie. Maybe I didn't know what I was watching. He put a, tar a harness on eight-month-old Togo and hooked him up to the team. Togo 
Ultimately, ran 75 miles that day and worked his way up to lead in the in his first ever time in a harness. Wow, could you imagine? What a story. Well, I bet they had like the a very interesting relationship. I bet it became a really good relationship. But see, you know what this story tells you is like smart dogs are mischievous when they don't have a job to do. Oopsie. Ah. Next time I go to Minnesota, wait till I have my permit. That way we can. Bro. No, I have to go to Minnesota in fall. I mean, not fall, in spring to take Ryu back. And you will not have your permit then. Yeah, Ari is super smart. Ari needs a job to do. And that's why I'm like, maybe she would make a decent service dog. She definitely needs some work. Oh, Fox. Okay, so Fox is the name of somebody. It's actually a person's name who who had a mushing team. I just read his name somewhere. Fox Ramsey. Okay, Fox Ramsey imported 60 of the, of the finest uh, Siberians to Alaska. So that's where Fox comes from. She just want to watch. He reason to watch you getting that by yourself. We'll have to talk about that, Lena. Lena, I thought you were going to bed. <laughs> Oh, you, okay, okay, so you, so, uh, dang it, you told me your name, too, um, good boss, what was your name, I'm sorry, you made a video about Huskies, and you, it really ended up, I'll have to look it up, let me see, let me go ahead and pull you up so I don't forget. Ah, doing this wrong. I definitely loved the movie Balto as a kid. Um, and so did Sean. Sean is half Asian, half white. And the movie Balto um, really identified with him for not being sure where he fits in. When he was a kid. Nikita, yes, yeah. Are you on Instagram? Do you follow me on Instagram? I just subscribe to you. Oh, so you, you, oh, because yeah, you're in New York. So you're where you're close enough to see the statue? Bjorn, you are just outside. I don't want to hear it. Everyone's trying to get out. So pretty. Look at what videos. Oh, you have kangles. I have a kangle. Well, I have a half kangle. I was part of a project for a new livestock guardian breed that's slightly sm like shorter but stocky. That for, um, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to let him out. That's, uh, was intended for more like homestead type situations that don't have large predators like wolves. Um, more so for predators like foxes, raccoons, uh, uh those sort of things. But the original person who was developing it passed away. So I don't know what's going to happen now. 
You're three and a half hours away from the statue. Let me let this doggy out. You, okay, I thought I recognized you from Instagram, but you is. Do you have the same name on Instagram? Come on, let me let this doggy out. Winter, you want a pizza? You want a pizza, Winter? I'm not going to finish this. <laughs> oh, 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 Let me put them up real quick.
Kelly? Yeah. Yeah, she's on the couch. You want to come here? Come here. Come here. Yeah, Bjorn. What did Bjorn pop up on the screen? We all talk oh, I missed a bunch of stuff. So that stupid neighbor's dog was in the yard. I mean, the dog is not stupid. It's the neighbors cause a problem. I think I have you on my personal. I mean, I think I have your personal on my Instagram, and that's why I recognize you. Hi, babies. Come here. Camel appearance. Yeah, it's probably Bjorn. Freya, you can come here and say hi. This is Freya. Mm -mm. Be calm. No, no, be calm though. She is squirrely. This is Freya. She gets really like silly and hyper, and she's really small. This is when I was saying like she could probably be a lead dog, but nobody. Come here. Um. Okay, I know. But uh, she's really submissive, so I don't think that they would really follow her. Like they would. Lagatha. Lagatha's our lead dog. No, you're not getting one of these. I think it's full of junk. You can't have it. 
No. 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 Good girl. Yeah, they're all, they all, I tried to like show uh, Winter and Ryu, but they all have pent up energy right now because we didn't really do much today. Look at this beggar. Are you going to settle down? No, I'm trying to just lay down. I'm just scared the crap out of my husband. Yeah, I got kind of chaotic. Because this freaking neighbor's dog. That's why I'm, I'm ready to move back. And we live close. We, we live. Hold on. Oh. So I, got, I have four and a half week old puppies and they're starting to like play with each other but sometimes they get a little rough i have to like watch who the rough one is and i'm still trying to identify if there's more than one that's like a little too rough it's kind of like personality traits or they're crying because they want huh let me put freya in there she'll play with the puppies All right, yeah, so I'm ready for our fence to be fixed. So we used to live close to where my mom is, or uh, I don't know if you saw my line where I was like walking around my mom and my grandparents' house, and we used to live right over there. And then we were like, well, we're gonna build a house, but we need credit for a loan, or we were, we were gonna buy a house. We were debating on moving to Texas. And, Freya's just busting at them. They're trying to nurse off of her and they can't. She's not their mom. Um, they're, yeah. Freya! Anyhow, so. That's my train of thought. So. Anyhow, so we bought a trailer. We're in a trailer right now. We bought the biggest one for the cheapest price to help build up our credit history because we have good credit. We just don't have a lot, like a long history of credit. And then we, but instead of putting it out there, we decided to put it as close to civilization as we could so we would have cell phone reception. We would have better internet we would have the a paved road we would have the mailbox and trash cans like right at the front of our house like like more normalcy i guess because i'm not uh, where we were living like where my mom and uh my grandparents live they don't have uh you have to drive two miles for the trash can the mailboxes are like a quarter of a mile away um there's no city water it's septic, I mean, it's um, spring water. They use a septic tank, which we use a septic tank here. Um, the cell reception, there's like pretty much none. And then the internet was satellite, but now they actually have fiber optics. Um, but, you know, I was like, man, I was, you know, it's gonna be so much better here. I freaking hate it here. I hate having neighbors. 
<laughs> Even though it's still technically my family's land, like it's it's off kind of like by itself, and um, so like other people don't own land. Well, my grand my great uncle owned the land over there, and then he sold it to these people who bought it, and that's it's their dog on our property, and then they, all they do is like scream and curse at each other all the time. Like they want the whole neighborhood to hear them. Then we got the crazy person who shot their own dog that lives over that way. My dad lives next to us. So that's the only good thing is my dad lives here. Um, oh man. And I feel like there's another neighbor that causes problems. I don't know. There's just, and then people speed up and down the road. There's always dogs, there's always random dogs, random cats, uh, and then trash. That's the other thing. Well, for one, where we put our house, we didn't realize that there was a house here before and it had been bur burnt down. And so there's just like debris that's been, like it burnt down like, like 20 years ago. And then like stuff overgrew it. And then we had the land cleared. And so now it's just like we find random pieces of like the house and just garbage and glass. Glass is the one that really upsets me. And uh, so I'm always like, it's like there was a tornado times 200 and well, when we first moved in, we've cleaned done a lot of cleaning up. And like, like right away, my chickens would get bumblefoot all the time. Come here. Um, so I just like, man, I just want to go back. I just want to go back home because <laughs> like all we had to deal with there is like coyotes. Now we still have to deal with coyotes. In fact, one of our neighbors last year was bit by a rabid coyote. Of course, all my dogs have their vaccinations, but still, I don't even like now I'm afraid to walk to my car. Just, <laughs> oh, it doesn't mean, I mean, there could be rabid, there could be a rabid coyote anywhere. So that's different, I guess. But, man. Yeah. So, yeah, I just want to go back home. And then if there was someone's dog in our property, I mean, I could just take it to the pound. <laughs> or I can just, like, capture it and be like, hey, your dog somehow wandered here. Come get it. <clears throat> Because if somebody's dog is on that property, they went really far. So, I don't know. Neighbors. That's why I'm like, <clears throat> I was trying to convince my husband, like, let's get, like, 200 acres. And, like, we just, just fence the whole thing in. And then it's ours. So. Hey! Knock it off! And then sometimes neighbors are great. I guess it's just if you could choose your neighbors. Because we do have a guy, my uncle sold, my great uncle sold um, a lot. And then sold uh, his house. And, and so there's two neighbors who live out there. Um, and they're fine. One, he's got a surplus of chickens, so he's always got eggs. So if we don't have eggs, he's got eggs, and he just gives it to us. Um, and then the other neighbors I actually went to college with my husband and like if, if we need help with the road and stuff like that, they help us if there's anything fishy going on that, you know, like there's, there's no drama, you know, they don't mind. Like I take my dogs and hike if we're on the actual roll and there's no issues. So you don't want to be in there with them. Just like, I don't want to be nanny. Because they're all trying to nurse off of her. That's why. Freya. Freya. <clears throat> and that's the one reason why, like, I'm not... 
Although, like, like we could take a lot of the dogs outside even with the breaches and the fence. And <laughs> although Ari kind of messed up today, Merlina's dog. Um, I've let Merlina train her herself for the most part. And so, you know, part of that growing up stuff. But anyhow, wow, 3 a.m. What time is it here? I know it's not that late here. The sun's playing DD. Oh, it's 9 o'clock. Anyhow, yeah, I'm just frustrated. Frustrated. And then the neighbor's dogs tear up trash. And then people throw trash out of their car and it ends up in our property. And now I have to deal with trash inside from the moment we had a tornado. Oh, yeah, I was looking at your videos. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy, I guess. By the way, Vivian is okay. Obviously, she's walking around here. Oh, she's taking a nap now. But yeah, Vivi is okay. I don't know what the heck happened yesterday. So cute. Yeah, have a good night. I might end this live soon. Because they're getting, they are getting restless. Oh, man, I got to make sure that stupid dog is gone, though. Hey, Nikita. Do I call you Nikki or Nikita? What kind of dog is this? Rhea! She sounds so ferocious. Nikita, probably. Okay. I had a friend in, in Germany named Nikita, but you know, she went by Nikki. She kept uh, having to, as an adult, she had to change her name a lot because she had stalker issues too. She was really pretty. Oh, Sawblade, you're Sam? Is it easier than Sawblade? Sawblade sounds like pretty intense though. I mean, I'd rather you not call me Wolfpack, I guess. <sighs> what kind of dog is, um, is it Buttersnap? Is Buttersnaps? Is it Ghee Buttersnaps? Kind of looks like a, um, English, uh, Shepherd. But I can't tell. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm Jane um, for my gamer tag. It's spelled different because, you know, Jane is definitely going to be taken. Wow, pretty dog. What kind of dog is this? It looks like one of my Oskis. That's a breed. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to Google that. That's an because it says that it says that on there, and I didn't know what that was. Okay, let's Google this. Let's learn. Or I guess you already know. It's a sled dog. Wow. The well-defined prey drive. Medium high energy level. Oh, is there? I'll totally watch it. It's extremely rare, especially in the United States. Yeah, okay, it's not recognized by the kennel clubs. Oh, there's where Gita is. I might need to grab her. I'm 
interesting. They're really pretty. The, they look like, yeah, they look like they're like a husky, um, <clears throat> some sort of like a husky shepherd mix. They look like they cause a lot of trouble. I wonder what they mean by defined prey drive. Wow, that one's crazy looking. Sorry, someone's texting me. They they come in um oh so pretty. Oh wow, they come in um pie ball. So I have pie ball. Let me see. Let me see if I can grab one. I'll show you real quick. So rare for uh, huskies to come in, or for yeah, for huskies to come in pie ball. Now you want, now you want them? Okay. This is one of my huskies and he is a pie ball. He is about four and a half, almost five weeks old. You can see this tail going. So he needs his bath. He just had some, uh, some meat, some uh, mush. We don't do dry dog food. Until, unless they're going to a family until they're, um, oh my gosh, I know. How bad are huskies? They sleep. They mostly just, like, if they, oh, where are we going? Where, I know, I know, I know. I know, he's getting so excited. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Put him back in a second. He's dirty. He's getting me all dirty. I know you've got meat all over you. You have raw meat all over you, and you're getting it on me. I know, oh my goodness. You need a bath. Don't scratch me. I need to clip their nails. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, guys. Y'all want to name him? He doesn't have a name yet. It's a boy. Almost all of his litter are boys except for one. One's a girl. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's ready to go. Look at this. You can tell he's a husky. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Let me go. Oh, God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gotta get a shower. It's, it's too late. I mean, how can I not look at this tail? It's, um, it'll curl soon. It's not curly yet. Where are you going? <laughs> you can tell this puppy's gonna be in trouble. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> he doesn't even know. Raya. <laughs> He's a handsome boy. Anyhow, so this is super rare coat pattern, but it is a coat pattern. Lemongrass. What? I can't even say that second word. You guys go, go goo Go. Oh my gosh. He's so excited. What are we doing? What's the plan? What's the plan? Where we go? Oh my gosh, she's coming back up here again. You see our early neurological stimulation does? Oh, please don't fall off the couch. See, he's not afraid. He is like, he is so ready. <laughs> oh God, okay. I'm gonna have to put him up. Loki? Are you a Loki? I'm gonna give you a bath. Wow, well, I'll probably give you a bath after breakfast in the morning. Maybe. Uh, here, I hear the neighbor's dog. I might have to go handle this neighbor's dog. Let me check.
Y'all want to see Ari? Come on. This is my daughter's dog. This is Ari. She's blowing her coat. Come here. And she looks so crazy now to me because most of her coat's gone. And this is Ari. She's one of uh, the lead dogs. Well, she's not lead yet, but she's right behind lead. She's working on it. Come on. Actually, I have my husband text the neighbor and see if they'll just come get their freaking dog. <laughs> oh, you want the baby? He's not claimed yet. Um, we were hoping for more girls, but we only had one girl in that litter. So, I'm um, two pie balls. Which, don't get me wrong, I don't breed for coats specifically. Like, it's health, temperament. <clears throat> um genetics i'm missing something like you know drive and all that sort of stuff and then coats is like the bonus like <coughs> excuse me we have plenty of not pretty dogs um that just are perfect you know what i mean so you know if because he's got a brother who's a pie ball as well and his brother is uh already lined up and uh, so, um, if, you know, by the time he's like two, um, if he's, if everything looks great, then we'll consider him for the program. <laughs> I know you're really a wanting one. Aren't you going to hold out and get a, uh, a wolf dog? Man, I'm worn out. Sorry if I seem so out of breath. I am just. We've been doing so much today. So much labor stuff. Oh, I can't see your whole comment. I was looking at these. So if you leave the state, is your roommate going with you? <clears throat> you know, the puppies were quiet until I put that one back in there. I wonder if that's the culprit. Oh, the brown is so pretty. My favorite coat color for dogs is, is like the liver red color. And I finally have, well, I have Freya, who's like a really nice like chocolate color. Oh, that one's pretty too. <clears throat> and then her brother, just like a, like a, uh, a goody kind of red color. Gosh, wow. What's that like? You own that, that dog, um, Nikita? That's your dog? 
what are they called again? Jeez, I don't know how to say this word. Yakutan. Yakutan? Is that, am I saying that right? I feel like I'm totally butchering that. Well, only affection. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, your characters are together? Like date in, in D&D? &D? Uh, so my brother, my brother's autistic. My mother is autistic. And we believe my grandfather is autistic. Uh, just I am diagnosed. <clears throat> like high functioning uh, Asperger's autistic. So my mom doesn't actually own a car. She doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, she doesn't own a phone because she can't, she can't handle the anxiety. So, um, I do a lot of, that's why I go there a lot is I do a lot of the shopping for her that my grandparents do a lot of shopping for her. So my hair is like, my bun is like over to the side today. Oh, wow. There's, I need to take a shower. So nature's in my hair. So what's going to happen if you start a relationship with somebody else? So, so that's something I worry about my brother. My brother's like 19 or 20 now. I don't know how old he is. Maybe he's 21. Heck. <laughs> Yaku Tai An or Yaku Shan. Shin. And he's technically my mother's dog, but Lola is mine. I didn't see Lola. Which one's Lola? Oh gosh. Maybe I'll just have a sled team with like every northern breed. They're so fluffies. I love it. So uh, on Instagram, a sled dog team I follow, they've started knitting with their husky spur. Like they made mittens and now they're working on a scarf and I'm just like, I have been, oh, that one's beautiful. Um, um, sorry, I'm looking at pictures on, on, I wish I could like share. Oh, Belgian Malinois. Yeah. So Chad wants to use a uh, uh, Belgian Mal Malinois in his breeding program. I guess is another breed that's going into the Lycan Shepherd to create the Lycan Shepherd. Um. <clears throat> And I've thought about getting one, but <laughs> I don't know. That might be too much drive for me. Sorry, I'm stuck looking at these pictures of these dogs. <laughs> I need to see videos of them working. That's what I need to do. So I was, I was thinking about maybe getting... Oh, really? I've worked with a few like basic training, like basic obedience, like for puppies before they go do whatever the job they're going to do is. And, um, I mean, I do have a heart condition, so I, I, I can get fatigued pretty easy. So I could not keep up with them. <laughs> I could keep up with them, but I was worn out. So I don't know. Maybe it's just like the, that line, but I know I have huskies and wolf dogs and doodles. And, well, doodles aren't really high dry, but like German shepherds, you know.
What do you think, uh, Nikita, what do you think of the dog daddy? I have to watch the pros and cons of, as long as it's not a robot. I can watch these, like, these info dog videos, but, um, unless it's a robot's voice. I like to watch them just to see. A lot of the times, a lot of the time these, these info dog videos about breeds are just full of, like, wiki. I don't You haven't seen him? Okay. There's a lot of controversy. Um, I know him. I have one of his dogs. Uh, so, and I've been, because I've been talking about him more lately. I've been getting a lot of, like, hate on my channel. And most of the time, I just delete it because I don't want drama. Um, or, like, you know, some people are like, what, did you know he did this, this, and this? And I'm like, yes, I, well, I know that there's accusations about those things. Is, uh, what kind of trainer are you? What kind of style, I guess? I don't, I don't have time for drama. Unless I'm watching it in the movie. Alright, but in real life, I just, it's just a waste of time. It just sucks you dry and stresses you out and stuff. <laughs> the dog's playing in the other room. I have two dogs going home tomorrow. The puppies are like at the age now where they're like starting to run around. I hear the little feet pitter pattering. So cute. I don't think I have a story to tell. It's too quiet now. What time is it? I'm trying to wait for my husband to stop playing D and D so we can play a game of League of Legends before we go to bed. But he's still playing his stupid game. His stupid role playing. I can't role play. I don't have the attention span. Uh, attention span to role play. Obviously, I can't finish any of my stories with you guys. Okay. I have a feeling it was with, with your name that you were force free. I, I like that you say force free instead of positive only because it's, I don't know. I don't like the positive only community. There's, okay, let me take this back because there are so many communities that are so toxic and it's just, but uh, like I was in some positive, when I, I took some courses on positive only training and and the communities were so toxic and so judgmental and so like like clicky and it was just I couldn't stand it and then you know for severe behavior problems it was just euthanized for at least for the ones the groups that I was in which it was never like it was almost never like like projected hey good morning germany <laughs> but it was yeah like um i do use prong collars um mostly I, if i use a prong collar it's either for a dog that weighs 10 times the amount that i do and pulls like from a from an owner who's like got like a massive or saint bernard we're gonna board it and 
it pools or it's, and it's reactive to like we have ducks and chickens and stuff. Then I'll use a prong collar to get it, you know, from in and out and stuff like that um, from our vehicle to the fenced area or to in our house. Um, and then I use prong collars on <clears throat> um, usually pack walks, uh, especially when I've got like dogs that aren't trained as well. Um, that are, they're, they're, yeah, I would say not trained as well. And so they could like react to something like a squirrel running by. Um, but I don't have to use it like, I, it's not like, I, I, I just don't use it that often though. They're, they're definitely handy in some situations and it's, yeah. I feel like a flat collar is, is good enough most of the time. Oh, wait, so you're a furry? Wait, people call you a furry, but I don't do well in a community because so much drama and stuff. So I'm trans It's just like, that's what I was saying. It's just like every community, every group, there's just so much. There's like politics and there's toxicity. There's just like in drama. So this is something I learned. The, the wolf dog community, wolf dog breeders are like hating on each other and calling animal control on each other. And it's just like, uh, or sanctuaries, wolf dog sanctuaries doing the same thing. And it's just like, what the heck, people? What, What is your motives? Like, what are you in this business for? Are you in it for yourself or is it for the animals? Is it to either create, you know, a wonderful, beautiful breed that has amazing temperament, you know, and like can be a pleasure, you know, can like add value to somebody's life? Um, or are you just in it for bragging rights or for money? You're like playing as a werewolf. Oh, I thought you were saying that you dress up in werewolf costumes, I guess. And yeah. And then like 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 the service dog community, another super toxic community where they where people have PTSD and anxiety and like autism, right? And all they do is attack each other. Oh, you don't really need a service dog, you know, or you're faking your illness because it's not visible, you know, and it's just like, but the person who, like one person who has PTSD will be attacking another person who has PTSD saying they're faking it because their symptoms are not the same as theirs. And it's just like, what are you doing? Like, what is wrong with you? I just can't, I can't do it. And the same thing with dog training communities. So, yeah, they just bash each other and. Somebody else crying. See, this is, this is what happens when we don't do anything. Everybody is just riled up and. They're in it for themselves. So, yeah, and it's just. It's surprising, like, things that should be, like, a service or, like, like um a charity is so yeah it's just every community or things who's crying kindred is that you don't look at me winter he's bad you tried to eat the neighbor's dog oh my god i heard that because darling darling always goes on the attack and then the dogs follow up Because of Charlie. I don't know if you saw my video. I don't know if she wasn't going to eat the neighbor's dog, but. Everybody, everybody oh, I like Halloween's my favorite holiday. My husband's playing D&D &D and he just said I summoned Charizard. Yeah. 
Yeah. I agree. Anytime you add multiple people to anything, people find a way to screw it up. Yeah, and how to, like, turn against each other and make factions and stuff like It's just... And, you know, a group of them say, oh, you're doing it wrong. You know, it's just... It's just so exhausting. Or, like, ch like churches, like religion. I don't know about other religions, but I know, like, like Christianity, how they have so many different... Um, what are they called? Like, different groups like the Methodists and the Catholics and stuff like that I don't think they're as as I don't think they're maybe they're I don't know maybe they're not as toxic as some of these other communities but I feel like they are I feel like they are pretty toxic to each other and politics of course of course those guys and it's crazy how like aggressive um ouch um, how, like, aggressive they are if they, if you don't believe what they believe, um, if you don't believe what they believe, then, like, you're the devil or you're, you know, something wrong, you're crazy or mentally ill, like, it's just to get, or, or they get violent, oh, you use prong collars, you know, I hope your dogs die. I read that comment. It's just disgusting. Like, some people are crazy. Or I guess because it's just words. But still, I don't... Oh, you have... Wait. You have anxiety or online as well? Oh... Um. And people quit, are quick to like get that mob mentality or start witch hunts. Yeah. I've learned that most, especially when you get to like bigger friend groups, most people aren't friends. They're always there. Not always. Most of them are there for something. They're not, you know, which I think a lot of y'all probably know. I think that's Bjorn again. I don't know what Bjorn's do. Bjorn just wants to go hiking or something. Because we didn't, we didn't really do much. We didn't play fetch. We didn't do anything really today. Because we were trying to, it's like my husband's off work. So we're trying to like get this stuff done. Bjorn, enough. I might have to let him out. Maybe it's got a bad stomach. Oh, maybe he's thirsty. That's right. He wanted water earlier. And somebody knocked the... have a huge water pail out front and somebody knocked it over. Let me get him some water. I'll be right back. Did you not get water when you're in here? Do you want water?
this is wet. Oh, you're going to come sit with me? Okay. Thank you. I know, buddy. Yeah, some live streams where they have like a bazillion people and you can't even like read anything or they get like the trolls in them they just spam stupid stuff or you have to like comment your thing like five times just for it to be seen oh my god buddy i know what are you doing this is bjorn and he's very happy that i let him join us he was, I guess he was very thirsty. Bjorn is a big cuddler in the morning. Oh my goodness. But he still kind of gets into stuff at night. So he's not loose in our bedroom at night yet. Winter sleeps in our room sometimes. But sometimes she also kind of gets in trouble. So she has to sleep in a crate sometimes. We're working on it. Kratos sleeps in that room. Occasionally, Kratos and Rolo don't see eye to eye, and they, like, you know, curse each other out as they walk past each other. Just, like, keep that in check. Because they're both, um, you can't just, like, get in front of me and stand like this, though. You need to go. Thank you. Oh, man, it's shedding season. It's the most wonderful. Oh, you want to come back up here? Okay, well, you have to lay down or something, okay? You want to tear up that bag? Come over here. Come here. Oh, gosh. Okay. He's one of my sled dogs. He's a, he's a wheel dog. He's either a, he's usually a wheel dog or a team, like, right in front of the wheel dogs. Hey, buddy. This is, yeah, they're restless. But we got to get the fence. Yeah, we got to get the fence done. We got to, we have these rolls of earth, of earth, wow, of turf that we need to get. They're like, they weigh a ton each. So I don't know what, how we're going to do all that. I love nature. Oh my gosh. Okay. A girl you used to be with thought it was funny. I could hear a deer when we were hiking and follow it to a clearing, but I couldn't hear what she was saying when too much distractions were around. Oh yeah. I mean, my husband. If the TV's on, it could be like, it could be golf. If the TV is on, my husband can, if there's a reflection also, he's so shallow. It could be a reflection in the window. If, like, there's a, oh, there's not a window. There used to be a window behind me. We moved our couches. If the, uh, if I was sitting in front of the window and the curtains are open and he can see his own reflection, he would be talking to himself. <laughs> and I'm just like, are you talking to me or are you talking to you? <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I think... I don't want to say it's a guy thing, but I know a lot of guys who have that issue. So I don't know. And he hates it too. Like he hates it. We don't have any mirrors hanging up. Like because he <laughs> there was a reflection. He was he was lost in his own beauty. <laughs> He's not shallow for real though, but yeah. But my husband can tell me something, and if I don't respond, I don't hear him. I start keep telling him, like, did I, re did I reply? Did I say yes, no, okay? Like, anything? If I didn't respond, I didn't hear you. You'd be trapped in the mirrors. Imagine, like, putting two mirrors back to, like, face to face, and you in the middle. And then you can, like, see endless mirrors. Would you get trapped? 
feel like there's a movie like that. I know there's an episode of um, Supernatural, right? Where they get trapped in mirrors or there's a demon or something in mirrors. You finally, finally finish? Yeah. Okay, I'm still on the stream. We're talking about how beautiful you are. Yeah, you did, I heard her being kind of fussy. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and send her out real quick. She might need water too. The That water thing's out in the front and this one. I just put a little water in there. Yeah. Come on. Let's go outside. I like that she needs to go out. She comes straight for me. Yeah, I think she needs water. Winter wants to play. Winter, winter has a lot of energy. She can get easily frustrated. Yeah. I always ask, like, did you hear me? I think that's what with autism, a lot of times they're in their own... They're in their own mind, and so they don't hear you. Or they'll hear you and kind of acknowledge what you said, but they'll continue with whatever's going on in their head. I assume, does he have um, Asperger's? Oh, my uncle was playing League this whole time. Shoot, my uncle messaged me. But my computer's muted, so I didn't see it. Hey, you're red. You're still red. Hey. Uh-oh. Ah, type right here. Hi, Gita. Okay. My uncle is wanting to play League of Legends with me. I don't know how to stream. I don't think my laptop could stream while I play League, while I play League of Legends. Yeah, I my my laptop is kind of old. I don't have a desktop right now. Yeah, OBS. I have used OBS like once before, like years ago. Y'all, when I play video games, I'm like worse than a sailor and a pirate combined. Just saying. I see some pretty bad things. Just saying, like. And I will mute anybody who pisses me off. You ping too much, I mute you. Say something stupid, I mute you. Because I'm not going to get banned for, like, telling somebody off in chat. I'll say it in voice. How much do I owe you? I have to get a cash. Oh, well, I'm not going to charge her. Her husband had a heart attack while I was watching her dog. I'll have to, I, don't, I can't tab it. Oh, I can message her on, on the computer. Let me see, because she's messaging me on Facebook. Uh, Facebook. You have a rule from your landlord no, about no foul language? You, what? Unless it's a family landlord. I don't... That would just laugh in his face. Gita! Hey, can you get that puppy out of there? Yeah. Just put him with Ozzy. Because Gita's not, she's not, she's not playing that game. Make sure it's latched. Yeah. yeah, I can only see that if, like, you're renting from, like, your grandmother or your roommate's grandfather or something who's a deacon or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't just cuss. Like, I say some really screwed up stuff. <laughs> I can't tell you. What, does he live, like, underneath you or, like, 
Is it the else buildings are connected or something? Yeah, there's no way. I wouldn't even struggle with that rule because I wouldn't follow it. <laughs> He doesn't catch you. Imagine, like, with his glass listening and at the door. Jack never, I told them young whippersnappers not to be using them foul words. $50 on our rent. <laughs> $50 fine. I have him come paint my house, too. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about weed, weed itself, but like smoking, you know, like in a house, I can see where they'd be like, hey, don't smoke in my house because it's, it's, I have lived in a house, I've been smoked in and try to clean it off the walls and it sucks. It's not easy. So I could see where they're like, hey, don't smoke in my house, like anything because it stains and the, and the odor stays. And then you can only rent to people who, you know, either smoke or don't care, don't have allergies in the future. That's why you bake brownies. I, I don't smoke anything, guys. I'm a good girl. Except I say bad words. Hey, are we play in league? Uh, Eddie's. Playing? Are you streaming? Ed, yeah, but Eddie's on. And what? On. You're on? What about dad? Oh, I'm going to tell Eddie the message. That, Eddie's out of game. Let me tell him. Dominated now fight. Nice. Nice. Text. Dad. Ah! Okay, guys. I have my lead soon while I play this. Ah, breaking stuff. Okay. That's my, um, my legal blood. Ah, okay, gosh, man. So many messages. Ah, I got so much to do. Oh, for your vaporizer? Uh, I hear it can be very helpful. Well, good night. I missed somebody said good night. Where are you? Hey, have a great, have a great night. No, you. Yeah, I'm about to play some League of Legends, you guys. I need, I need to kill things. I should probably play some Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I won't be on tomorrow uh, live in maybe after like 8 o'clock because I have a... A Zoom meeting with Tony Neela. You're a low buy in it. I am so bad at this game. I used to be really good, and then I guess I'm getting old and slow. So all I do is feed all the time and and rage. I'm caught. I'm my 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 rank is cotton candy level. Cotton cat and two. Cotton cat. Cotton candy. Wow, I can't even say it. Sean's, my husband's wood too. He's almost wood third. Wait, wood, wood, what's the order? Wood one? One is, hey, is it going, descending? Five is bad, one is good. Okay, yeah. He's almost wood one. And y'all, if y'all know what that means. Oh, he's invited me. Never done ranked. <laughs> I did ranked. Just to see how bad it was. I'm not actually, what am I? I'm definitely like bronze. 
Let me see here. There. Oh, my uncle's probably talking to me, but I have him muted. Or I am muted. Wait, am I muted? I might not be muted. Hey, uncle. Um, Eddie. <clears throat> if you can hear me, I have my, my laptop muted because I'm doing a live stream. Just give me a minute. I also have like a bunch of browsers open that I gotta close. 90. Huh? 90 browsers. No, actually. 90 tabs. Stop. I actually closed all those tabs and I made myself not open them and I started a new thread of tabs. I'm the kind of person who has like tap, 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 tap of all these things. Yeah, okay, last season I was bronze. Not the worst. What's the worst? Iron. Iron? Iron product. I don't know. I don't know. It just says bronze. It doesn't say... The puppy is very upset. Okay. Um... Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna play some League of Legends. I can't wait till I have a lichen puppy, my perfect male, that I'm gonna name Warwick. I've been saving that name for so long. Actually, I low key like wanna name the one that Chad wants, Warwick. And so then Warwick will be on his channel. And so every, like, it'll just be. Like, everybody will be talking about Warwick for a while, you know? But I want to get another Doberman, and I want to name him um, uh, Nassus. I'm going to get a white cat and name it Rengar. I feel like, I feel bad, because I feel like most of these people don't even know what the heck we're talking about. They're just characters in the game, if y'all don't know what we're talking about. I've named, um... From the game, Kindred is named after the game. Um, Lux and Garen are named after the game. Legend, come here, Legend. Come here, Legend. You you were sleeping on the job. The neighbor's dog was in our yard. Come here. Oh, Daddy's she smart. Was sleeping on the bed, on the come bed. here. Oh, look at this big fat Legend. She's sleeping on the bed while I'm playing this is, She's she's part Kangle. She's Great Pyrenees and Kangle. She's 50% Kangle, 100% Couch Potato. 100% Couch Potato. Oh, God. No. Are you, are you the fluff that's in my coffee? Yes. She's the fluff that's in my plant containers, too. She keeps, she keeps the predators away. Right. Look at her. She's so pitiful. You'd never guess that this thing is ferocious. Friend request. Man, some weirdo sent me a friend request. Who the heck is this loser saw blade? I'm just kidding. Oh, whoops. Let me fix that. I think we have room for one. Did you want to? Or is it this special game right now? Are we playing normals? We are playing. Where's dad? Did you, did you call dad? No, I thought you said daddy did. I asked him to. Oh, hey. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> you have me muted. I know I have. I, I'm doing a um ah legend. I'm doing a live stream, but I'm about to finish it. This is how she wakes me up every morning when she needs to go potty. She paws me right in the fucking eye. Yeah. Hey, you don't say bad words. What's wrong with you? Don't say that. Children are watching this now. They have now they have never heard that word, and now they've heard it, and now they can never unhear it. Your dog's a livestock. Oh, we talked about that, didn't we? She's a livestock guardian. That's what I meant. Legend. Sean named her after the initials of Livestock Guardian Dog. Come back in the room, Okay, no, no, no worries. Now I can stalk your profile and see how good you actually are. Hey, your thing's a war rig. I might change mine to match yours. Oh, your background's war rig. I'm going to have to critique your work skills. Because war rig is one of my mains. Actually, I'm pretty rusty on him. I've been playing a lot of Vi. Vi is pretty much my main. Oh, we have Violet as far as like an, more another character name. And we have Ari as another character name. 
I feel like I'm missing somebody. We like to name our, our dogs and themes. Jinx. I'm saving that name. Actually, there's a dog trainer here where I live whose name is Jinx with two X's. And she and I met her. I kept hearing that she was a great trainer and stuff. So I met her and I actually tried to work with her company and she wouldn't hire me because I have wolf dogs and doodles. And she says that's unethical and dangerous, that wolf dogs are dangerous. And uh, that she doesn't believe in owning or breeding doodles, but they'll still they will still train doodles and they'll still train wolf dogs. For clients <clears throat> so but i'm just like but so i have experience with both of those like uh, anyways yeah i i i feel uh, like it was okay. bs a bs excuse i think she was threatened by me because i knew more than her because i blatantly knew more than her <clears throat> yeah yeah she's um heavily overweight and Fake, I guess. I was, it was a big letdown. Hey, we playing? Dad, getting on? What does that mean? Get off your stream. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna get off of here. Um, I will see you guys later, okay? Oh, yeah, not like Jinx at all. Not at all. Alright, I'll see y'all later. <laughs>